Do you know what that means? That means that God has a Lord. The Lord has God. Oh my God. Did you did you realize what you said? The God of our Lord Jesus Christ. That means that means just two seconds. Okay, but did you fine? But just one second. Just two just two seconds. You said the Lord, the law the the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know what she said? So, so we spoke. Remember, we we spoke. We spoke nicely last time. Remember, we had a nice conversation. You know what she she just said? She just said the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. What does this mean? That means God. The Lord has a God. Careful, careful. careful. Yeah, I think I've, I've judged that. <laughs> this lady over here. Let me just tell you something. Film it. So basically speaking, this lady just now, she's a Christian missionary. She said, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ is referring to Paul's letters in which the Lord Jesus has a God. How can Jesus, if he is God, referred to as Lord, have a God? Makes no sense. So this is a Christian missionary lady who has paradoxically broken away. Just give me two seconds. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul, how are you doing, my friend? Hello. Yeah, good yeah. to see you. Are you well? I'm my friend. Yeah, good. Good, good yeah. man. There's something which confused me about this lady over here. She's, she's, she, she's preaching. She said the following comment. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Just look at that definitively. Yeah. What she's saying is that the God of our... So the Lord Jesus has a God. I found that pretty perverse, to be honest. I, uh, because I was standing in the corner, she came across to us, shot nearly my ear off, shouted that thing away. So I, was, I just quietly listened to her, but she was insisting. So then I thought to myself, if Jesus is Lord, yeah. yet he has a God as Lord. What does this mean? Think about um, this very carefully. Yeah, I mean, um, it, is a, it's script, it, is script, it is in the scripture. Um, it talks about the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. But it seems to be separate, yeah. Paul. It's distinguishing between the two. Because yeah. when, we, when we read 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6, yeah. Paul very clearly distinguishes between those terms. He says, for unto us there is one God. Notice who is pointing to the one God. For unto us there is one God the Father, and for, by whom all three, by whom all things are made, and one Lord Jesus Christ. So it seems to me that even Paul is distinguishing between God and Lord. Previously, having spoken to you, I seek to show to you the term Lord can be used for normal individuals, and it can also be used for God in, in essence as well. But in this case, Paul seems to interestingly distinguish between God and Lord Jesus, meaning one who is elevated, yeah. given that higher title of Lord, yeah. which is, as you're aware, is a Greek word called kurios. Yeah. So in that particular context, even he's distinguishing and, uh, and um, uh, showing who is God and who is the Lord. So Lord is one who is an exalted yeah. being, just much like well, Abraham was. Yeah, I mean, th this, is, this is the conundrum of um, um, the, the doctrine of the Trinity, because you can't actually exactly put it out on paper and say this, every, that everything logically adds up. Um, that, that, that's why our, our faith, you have to recognize that it is um, ultimately it is God's giving us the hints about what his character and his makeup is, but uh, we wouldn't be able to understand it if, um, you know, because he, he, his ways and, his, and, and, and the way he expresses himself is above our, um, our finite thinking, you know, and uh, okay. so I'm, I'm not trying to... Uh, no, that's fine, problem. I'm not here, this is not like yeah. a catch to I'm, I'm, I'm just, you're a nice guy, I want to speak to you respectfully, I'm not trying to catch you out, but again, it appears to me, you've defined that nicely in terms of the conundrum of the Trinity, at the same juncture, I've uh, politely defined to you the two terms you see in itself. Now, what, what we observe, for example, Christ is never referred to, most interestingly, throughout the New Testament, as the Lord God, or the Almighty God. These are very definitive terms which are given exclusively to God. Yeah, I mean, sometimes he's spoken of as the Son of Man, sometimes he's spoken of as the Son of God. It's yeah. very true, yes. Yes, and we said that the term yeah. Son of God literally means one who represents God. Again, definitively, from Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, which I think I mentioned to you previously, where it defines what a Son of God is. Those who do God's work are re referred to as sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be known as the sons of God. And I think you've spoken to you previously again, which I mentioned, 
mentioned twice. We know we don't see the term God the Son ever invoked to Christ in the New Testament. Whereas the title Son of God is ubiquitous to many people, those who do God's work. It's well defined in the Dead Sea Scrolls being interchangeable with the title Son of God, uh, Messiah, Prophet. These are all interchangeable titles where you can change one word to the other. So as per your explanation, um, I found that the actual definite definition of those terms is vital. So when this lady was saying the law, the God of our Lord, the exalted Christ is, is Lord, but he has a God. Very interesting, you see. So it's like Christ, it's like God has given it. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jesus referred to God as Father for sure. Yes. Um, so it, is, it seems to me it's like a big distinguishing factor, and the, and the most poignant part of that is in that one Corinthians eight six, where Paul makes it crystal clear as distinguishing to who God is, who is the Father, and Jesus as the Lord, one who is exalted to the, to um, to, the, to that particular status. But even he distinguishes. I think for Muslims attention as well they make the common mistake that Paul preached a Trinitarian belief which is incorrect he actually elevated Christ's status by bringing him up to God, uh, up to the level of God however never been akin to being the Almighty God and can we, we can see that by definition in 2 Philippians 5 to 11 where he's exalted up to God but because of his great character and so forth but however still being distinguished from the Almighty God and I think this is a very interesting yeah, point yeah, yeah. Um, no, uh, like it's very clear that God, um, that God raised Jesus Christ um, um, precisely to, to the equal position of God. I mean, it does, it does yeah. say that. Uh, I mean, I don't think it says to the equal, but rather he elevates um, him so because he couldn't grasp equality. We've yeah. got something to grasp. The Bible says, um, to, to, so I, think it's, I think it's the quote of Paul, the Apostle Paul, who says um, um, he is. Um, um, Oh, what is it? Um, he's raised him above That's right, yeah, yeah. it's in Corinthians, yeah. Yeah, there's another one as well. Yeah, there's another one, I can't yeah. remember what it is. But, so, but in summary, what I've just, because I, mean, I thought I'd be sure a nice guy, so I thought I could approach you. When she was speaking about that term, I found it, I just, I just, it just made me think, if Jesus is God, which, which is what I, I think this lady is trying to uh, ascertain, but when it said that the, uh, that the, the God of our Lord, meaning the, that, that Jesus has a God in that status of him having a God in that, in that passage he was quoting. So no, anyway. I, I mean, there's um, like um, what, when you honor someone, there's a, def, there's a deferential aspect, isn't there? Yes. Um, and uh, that, that's how I see it. Yeah, yeah, which is interesting. If you see it, hence you can see that by you, by you confirming that there is a deferential aspect, i.e. a distinction. In that case, from what I can understand, Christ cannot therefore be God based upon this distinction. That Paul is, Paul is giving that title exclusively to, to God, who is the one true God. And Jesus is the Lord, the exalted um, um, individual who has been elevated to God, as in 2 Philippians 5 to 11. So it's still, it's still very clear to me, Paul is not seeing Jesus as God, but because he does God's great work on the earth, God exalts him to a, a position which would be on par with him. It's just like your, your the managing director saying, saying to his top worker, come up, come and have a cup of tea with me. You know, you deserve it. You brought a nice uh, little um, bonus into the company. I want to have a sit, sit and acknowledge you. That's essentially it. Yeah. Um I'm just trying to think of the, 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 the verse of the Apostle Paul quoting, um, or, or, or quote. Um, yeah, so don't worry, so it's, that's no, no problem. Not, 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 like I said, it's not a catch. I'm not in a sort of a debate. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, that's fine. No, that's sort of okay. bless you, Paul. I, I, I thank yeah. you for giving me the time to have a little chat. How you been? Are you well? Yeah, yeah, yeah? not bad. Thanks. Not today. We're not, not no cross today. No, no. It's a bit hot today for the cross, um, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm travelling a little bit lighter today. Yeah, yeah that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Makes yeah. sense. But tomorrow's going to be hotter. They're saying uh, 31 yes. degrees apparently. Wow. Yeah. Yes. 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 Fair, yeah. Fair thing. I'll have a, I'll have a, a morning indoors rather. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice speaking to yeah, you, Paul. You take care, you sir. Thank you so All much. Right. Appreciate your time. All right. Thank you. Too. Take care. Bye bye now. Bye -bye. So we spoke to our pleasant Christian friend here, Paul, who we frequently have, uh, have conversations with. The reason why I spoke was this missionary lady was mentioning that Jesus has a God, meaning 
the God of our Lord, which infers, or not just infers, tells us and distinguishes between who God is and who Jesus is. God, the God of our Lord. So Jesus has a God, even as Lord. So Alhamdulillah, they don't even realize what they're saying. That's the, the perversity of the matter is they do not even realize what they're saying. I and mean, then they have to reflect by being by Muslims being observant to them, and that is the position. Allah guide them, Allah open up their hearts, you know, and, and give them the truth of the message. Assalamu alaikum.